Hello, and welcome to my first Let's Play, Super House of Dead Ninjas. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to select a couple weapons, and I'm going to show you how useful they can be. So, first weapon we're going to choose is the Ultra Super Mega Kusigama. This one destroys traps and gives me enough range. Then we're going to go with the Boomerang. Now, I prefer using the main Boomerang instead of the Battle Bash Boomerang, because even though this is a longer range, this lets me throw it faster, meaning I can take out more guys. For bombs, we're going to go with the Dynamite Death Dealer. This one lets me punch my way through the floor, and allows me for better maneuverability when there are obstacles I just don't want to face. And then we're going to go for Flame Magic, because it's just simple, easy, and magic's just for getting out of a tight pinch. Okay, so difficulty set on hard, and we're going to start at the roof. So here we go. So lots of people go through and vomit, or I guess some people do. I don't. I prefer getting the punch from here. Time. Time resets. Time is actually a really interesting thing to add it to it. Time makes it so then you have to pay attention to what you're doing, make sure you don't run out. Um, Dropping down is fantastic. It's perhaps the most useful thing in the game. It lets you get past pretty much any obstacle without ease. It just makes all the enemies easier to kill. I think. Yeah. So these guys take about two hits from the boomerang, or two hits from the Kusugana. I like to just kill everything with the boomerang. It's nice, quick, easy, and. Yeah, I don't know why you would use another weapon. Drop down is fantastic too. You want to kill these purple guys as soon as possible because then they can clog up together, killing in an area, and that's annoying. So, differently colored guys, they drop items, but they're also stronger. They have higher hit points, they faster, they have different move patterns. They're different, so you want to kill them from far away because... So, that drumming meant I was almost out of time. Flashball. Flashball slows everyone else down. Back to the drumming. So, the drumming said you're almost out of time. You really don't have to worry, there's time pretty much everywhere in this game. So, here we go. See how I can destroy the tracks? It makes it infinitely easier. So, I should have been dropping down there, but Tom forgot to. So, that's one life down, but whatever lives are pretty common in this game when you get to 100,000 yeah, 100, points. Each time you get a new life, um, you defeat a boss, you get a life, so they're not that hard to come by. So let's not worry about that. These jumping birds can be a bit hard to hit, but they really don't do much. You want to drop them here. There aren't obstacles there. Blow up the traps. This is one fun thing. You want to just go down like a ladder until you get rage. A rage basically makes you invincible and gets extended by killing more guys with your melee weapon. So it's a great little item to have, or it's a great bonus to throw in for obstacles like that, and if you really need to kill. You can keep Rages in for as long as you can't want to, if you can keep finding enemies to kill, so, yeah. Um, just destroy these traps, come across. Um, the pigs are a bit annoying. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, kill that. When you die, the timer resets, so that's a nice little thing. And that's how the replay works, I mean, if you've played the game, you'll know what I'm saying. Um, if you haven't played the game, you should play it. Right, you just want to keep heading down, I mean, okay. Yeah, where else are you going to head? So, 250, this is first boss floor, there's another boss fight on 150, so Rage, you kind of want to just jump over him. Uh, throw your boomerang from far away. If you're about to get hit in space, that protects you from the damage, which is a nice little feature. Uh, be careful not to throw the people, and so yeah, he drops a heart when he dies, so, and a bunch of other items. So infinite projectiles with boomerang is very fun, because then you just have this sort of halo of boomerangs on you. So, 
but it doesn't last forever. Here you want to try and line it up and get the ball in one. There we go, I have my rampage up, so you just want to... Here you just want to go around killing things immediately as fast as you can. These guys, you can just blaze through obstacles when you have rage, which is nice. Everything you do kills in one hit. Time. And now that I'm back at- okay, so monkeys are the worst. They're the most difficult enemies in the world, because, okay, in my opinion, they They chase you everywhere, they're a pain. Here, this isn't too hard, just go where the balls are, and chain can't hurt you. Um, and, um, so you just want to keep going with these guys, you can trap them in there, that's a nice little feature. Um, so, letters. Letters unlock the trans dimension warp space in this world. Okay, so this is Smithy. And when you're in his room, everything's frozen. And he also says a lot of dirty things. Anyways, each one of these chests has an item. But if you have a Kizugana, you can hit two at once. That's why it's one of my favorite items. So, we got Instant Rage, which basically means you have exactly what you think. Instant Little Rage Bar. So, I got 100,000 points, that meant I got full life. Or another life back up, which brings me up to full. So, those fish are annoying, you want to be careful around them. Here, drop down, it makes everything easier. So, the pigs, they run fast. But if you jump up to just give up their height, they stop. So, you just want to try and avoid them, jump above them. Here, same thing, you just drop down onto the enemies. So, the boomerang humps to wherever you are, so if you want to hit something higher up, you jump, and go. Pig again. Bombs. So, if you notice, I generally don't use many items. That's because I don't feel like I to. Go for those items, but I'm not here. I don't use any of my bombs or my magic. I mainly save bombs for unpassable pains, like... For example, I could just bomb here and avoid that entire obstacle if I was having trouble with it. Um, that bomb takes a while to unlock, but it's worth it. So, boss fights. Whenever you go to a boss fight, as you can see, the time is started back up again. So, let's go. So, Doom. What you want to do is you want to hit Doom from far away, like all other bosses. If he's coming down, he'll jump down from place to place, so you want to run back and forth. My strategy is I hang out on one of the sides, go here, then I run towards him. Um, sometimes he'll drop down in the middle. You want to make sure that those guys don't hit you once he dies, because they still can. And then, yeah. Um, Royal Sanctum. Now we're getting close to the end. So, that's what you should be careful about, but I wasn't. You don't want to get hit by those lasers as they're dropping out. Um, birds. Die, birds. So, these guys. They breathe fire. Dodge that. Jump up carefully because those guys go there and then they breathe fire. Don't jump on those guys. That's a one. They're one pain. I don't want to go through that right now, so I'm just going to drop down. Really avoid those guys, that's the best advice I can give you about them. So, glowing red eyes. That means... Oh yeah, red skeletons revive, so get away from them as fast as possible. When you see red eyes, be careful, that means there's a lurking... I don't know, assassin? That's what I call them. So, this element, you want to be careful, hang to the walls. Oh, that's what I mean. Alright. So, you just want to really be careful. So, the glowing red eyes means an assassin's there, so you just want to drop out when you come close to him. You want to wait until that was at the bottom. Okay, so these monkeys, you kill them all together. Easy points to farm off of. Here, you just want to climb up over those. Okay, wait, there's something there I should point out to you. So, you see that crack right beside the statue? There's a fairy in there. Fairies, they follow you. I'm pretty sure they have use. I haven't found it dead. They unlock you. It's more smithy. Let's see. Flippers help you swim through water and Mr. Rage you've seen already. 
These, this element's a bit of a pain. Luckily, when you're raging, you can't get hurt. Here, kill them both, go down. Break up the chest, the chest has lots of items. You wanna avoid the flame. Go. Here we go, instant rage again. It's really great. Also, that kills anything is the overhead drop, which is nice. Um, here, I don't even have to worry. Oh, look at that. Cram. Alright, so. Here, yeah, just avoid them. Make sure that doesn't happen. I wonder, will I make it to Avregas today? I think I should. We'll see. Maybe I'm not feeling in the mood for it. So you can drop off of them even when they're not invisible. You just go, don't drop off those guys. This element's a bit of a pain. Luckily, you can kill a lot of where you are. The thought of quitting. Um, also, you can use fire to get your way through here generally safely. Um, yeah. Just be careful. So I'm right about to get another life. Oh, here's Smithy. Third time. I don't... So those guys are annoying. Just drop through here. Cut across. Drop down there. So 44 to go before the final boss. Um, you just want to do the same thing here as well. So these are traps. Aim for that part of the eye or the blue. Avoid that mine drop by that mole. It can be a bit of a pain. Just lock these. There we go, we're running out of time now. And then... There we go, I made it to a timer. So even if you drop below zero, don't worry, just make it to a block any time. And you'll be safe from the Reaper. Same thing here. This. Doesn't matter, just make sure you don't get hit by the bombs if any drop down. Let's get the timer just in case. Let's go through here. So time increase, that means my time is worth double now. Or time is 60 temporarily. And now we're at the final boss, the one armed ninja. So what you want to do to him is... When he flashes, you want to hit him, and otherwise, you're just avoiding him, like the plague. Um, yeah, you want to. I like to double jump and run over him, and I do that because sometimes you get hit by him. So I messed up there. You don't want to run too close to him. He has three different attacks. He'll throw bombs. He'll do that slash thing, and then he. Throws three shuriken. It's. I don't know if there's a pattern to it. That means he's slashing. When he reaches behind him, he's slashing. Uh, he does that, but he's gonna throw out the shuriken. They're easy enough to dodge. Yeah. Bombs, you just wanna run away from them. It's not that hard. Try not to jump onto him. That's a bit of a goof. Yeah. Just double jump and keep running mainly. If you have to, if you're about to get hit, use your magic to dodge it. it gives you temporary invulnerability. That's the only reason I have magic. It's nice. So one last hit, and then he will be done. So you think he's dead, but no, he just goes all. goes all that. So what you want to do on these guys is you want to use your boomerang on his belly. Avoid these bombs that bounce everywhere. And then keep moving because he's going to throw his fist down. Now get on that because he's going to vomit. And then you want to just hit that, I don't know, uvula. Run away from there. Hit that, dodge the bombs, stay still for a bit, then run a bit, run around so you don't get hit, get on that, let him vomit. He 
is not that hard of a boss if you notice his patterns. If you go in the vomit, you can die, um, but once you set on that level, you're safe. Um, yeah, those bombs are kind of hard to track and it gets to be a bit of a pain once there's more. Um, yeah, you want to stay away from his chest when he's dumping out these guys. Avoid the bombs. Then stick to one side, run. So this one will be destroyed next time, but for this time it's still fine. Uh, yeah, you wanna. There we go. It's really the same thing. Try not to let that happen. But now that that has happened, we have temporary invulnerability with the one magic, which is you gain every time you die, which is nice, because that way you can have one temporary vulnerability, monkeys, so you use that when there's a bomb about to explode near you, keep running, don't get hit by him, Avoid, watch out for the spikes on the wall too, by the way, so he's down to two, should be only one hit left, I have two life, it seems like it's gonna happen. Now he throws out a bunch of these. It's kind of hard not to get hit, but um, do that just in case. Wow! All right, and that's how you die when you're about to win. Um, okay. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't show you a victory, but we were pretty damn close, weren't we? Game over. So yeah, this is Cricky or Jason or whatever you want to call me. Thank you for watching and have a fancy ass day.